Hello, Year 9. Today we are going to do this problem. What is the total surface area of this box? And I have a box to show you. It's a, um, a Band-Aid box. And you can see that it is a rectangular prism. So the top and the bottom are rectangles and all of the sides are parallel. And in actual fact, in a rectangular prism, all the faces, all the surfaces, are rectangles. So this is quite an easy one to start with because working out the area of a rectangle is pretty easy. So what I've done is I've cut the box open and you can see that the box is actually made up of six rectangles. So we've got this one here, number one, and this one's labelled number one. They're the top and the bottom of the box. Then this one here, which is labelled number two, is the, they're the sides of the box and then these bigger ones they're the front and the back of the box labeled number three so we've got six faces on a rectangular prism and it actually comes in three pairs so what i've got over here is a diagram of this box and i've measured it with a ruler and it turns out that the ends are three centimeters by seven centimeters the long skinny sides are 10 centimetres and also 3 centimetres high. And then the front and the back of the box are 10 centimetres by 7 centimetres. So what I'm going to do now is start off um, measuring out these or labelling these uh, rectangles. So the first one I'm going to try and figure out are these two. The the called those the ends, didn't I? And how many of them are there? There are two. So we'll say there's two of them. And these ones that I've just coloured in red are three centimetres by seven centimetres. So to work out the area of a rectangle is just length times width. So it is in fact three centimetres by seven centimetres. And because I know my tables, I know that that's going to be 21 centimetres Square. Remember that area is measured in square centimetres. The next ones that we're going to look at are the two on the sides that I'll colour in blue there. Those two on the sides of the box are, there's two of them, and these ones are three centimetres by ten centimetres this time. And so that gives us 30 centimetres squared. Now the very last ones the are the biggest ones here, the green one, that front of the box and the back of the box. That box is a total mess now, you can't tell anything. But I know that there are two of those ones as well. And those ones, the front and the back of the box, so I'm looking at the biggest rectangle now, they are 10 centimetres by 7 centimetres. And I know that 10 times 7 is 70 centimetres squared. All right, so I've measured each of the sides, each of the faces. I've calculated the area of each of the faces. And now the question is actually asking, what is the total surface area? So in order to total something, you need to add them up. So here we go. The first one, there's two that are 21 centimetres. So I'm going to add 21 plus 21. There are two which are 30 centimetres, so I'm going to add 30 plus 30. And there are two which are 70 centimetres, so I'm going to add 70 plus 70. Now, if you're very bright, you can do that in your head, but I'm going to do it on a calculator. So here we go, 21 plus 21 plus 30 plus 30 plus 70 plus 70 gives us a total of 242 centimetres squared. This is the answer to the question, what is the total surface area of this box? I broke it up into six different rectangles. I calculated the, the um, area of each of those different rectangles, noting that there were two of each of those. And then I just total them by adding them up. Remembering that the units, because it's area, the units is in centimetres squared. 
So that's how to work out the total surface area of a rectangular prism.